as the Longhorns prepared for Kansas. Head coach Charlie Strong invited a special guest to practice. That's right, here's a man, so y'all know who it is, Matthew McConaughey, here he is. How are we doing? I mean, y'all like that, huh? <laughs> gotta go get that. Uh, good to see y'all, man. A lot of y'all I don't know yet. Um, some of y'all I do. I haven't been able to get out here. Fortunately, I've had work to do, so I haven't been able to get out here that much recently, man. But I just wanted to come. Not come preach anything. Not come tell you anything. Just wanted to kind of have a conversation with you, man. See how y'all are doing. Look some of you in the eye, you know. Last night, I was thinking about what I do. And I was thinking about what y'all do. And I was asking myself this question all the time. Why do I do what I do? Why am I an actor, you know? And I was going to ask y'all, man, why do you play football? And again, no, no, no right answer. Ask yourself, man, when you look in the mirror tonight, just say, man, why, why do I play this game? Why am I doing this? Why do I come out to practice? Why am I out here busting my ass in the middle of the heat every day? Feels good going out on Saturdays when it's the big show, right? Hell yeah, it does. Feels a whole lot better after a W than it does after an L. But still, no matter what, I'll say this, I've found that when I've done my best work, as, a, as an actor. It was only when I pushed myself to be better than I even thought I could be. And I got a pretty high idea of how good I can be. I'm pretty self-confident with how good I can be. But I didn't do my best work, and I still don't think I've done my best work until I push myself further than even I think I can be. But it's amazing how easy the mind can go up and down, man. So I guess what I'm saying is again, ask yourself, why are you playing the game? And in there, you're going to find the answer of why you play it, whether you win or whether you lose. See, some of you may play it. You play because you love football. Some of you may play for your grandmother. Some of you may play for your older brother, your dad. Some of you may play for the coaches. Some of you may play for the university. At the end of the day, every single one of you has really only got to be playing for one person. I tell you what it does get then. It gets a whole lot more fun. Because when you do well, you feel it. You can look in the mirror and you go, that's right, I earned that. I did that. And you lay your head down a pillow at night and you gave it all and you busted your ass and you, you, you anticipated that pass wherever it was as a cornerback and you picked it. Oh, but you were that close to holding back or whatever that is, that play with you just a little quicker. You know at the end of the day when you lie your head on your pillow, I knew it. I knew it because I made that play. And if everybody's thinking that, if everyone's looked themselves in the mirror at the end of the night, if everyone's laid their head on their pillow at the end of the night and said, I did everything I could today, it's a lot easier to play for the guy next to you. It's a whole lot easier to play for the University of Texas Longhorns. It's a whole lot easier to put on that jersey, that helmet, to be out here sweating your ass off playing for each other. And it's more fun. <laughs> anyway, I did start preaching, didn't I? <laughs> Y'all shoot some questions at me. What do, you, what do you got? Anybody? Anything, man. Anything. What's the favorite movie you ever made? Favorite movie I ever made? Mud. Mud. I also like that Wolf of Wall Street, though. We got the... All right, let's get it going one time, right? You know why I do that? Actually, I, th here's how that got in the movie. I do that before I do a scene because I'm nervous. Or before you go out to play the first game or whatever, maybe you get nervous. I do that to loosen, loosen myself up because my head's going, I'm, I'm thinking too much and I'm nervous before a scene. So I do that to loosen myself up, number one. Number two, I do it because I know other people in the room are looking at me like, what is he doing? <laughs> and so then I know I'm on my own island <laughs> where I don't want them knowing what I'm up to. And uh, anyway, I had done that before the scene, and me and the other actor, Leonardo DiCaprio, did the scene, but I'd never, I wasn't doing that. And we were done, we had the scene finished. The director was happy with it, I was happy with it, everybody was. And we get up to go away, and my, the guy, Leonardo DiCaprio, goes, hang on a second. He goes, hey, what was that thing you were doing before the take? And I told him, and he goes, will you do that in the scene? And I said, all right, so the very next take, uh-huh, I'm starting <laughs> off, there it was. Come on, guys. This team, there weren't any heads hanging out, which I thought there might have been after last week, you know? Because uh, obviously that was the first real loss that really stung them. You know, I think BYU was probably more of a shock. 
you know, because they ran away with it at the end. But the team was in this game all the way to the end, and I didn't really believe they could win it till the end, and then they did. So how does the team bounce back from that's real, real interesting, but the, the, the heads weren't hanging down, that's for sure.